stamping design that I've popped on top of the Mentos uh, Sally Hansen collab polish. Um, typically I would do my reverse stamping on a stamping mat which I currently don't have access to so I'm just doing it on the stamper which is a slightly different technique but it still comes out with a really cool design. Um, the only downside of this is unless you have multiple stampers uh, it does take a little bit longer because you have to do all of them um, uh, one at a time and you can't sort of like batch do them but um, in the end, it sort of, I think it might have taken about the same amount of time. Um, I didn't actually time it, but it felt like that. Anyway, so for me, I use, I prefer using the dotting tool, but you can use a brush. So you stamp the image onto your stamper, um, and then using the dotting tool, pick up some polish and put it across. Now you'll notice I've dabbed a little bit in the corner of my stamper, and that was because it was, I had a little bit too much polish on there, and I could see it was just going to flood it and never dry. Um, so you allow the image to dry a little bit and then when you think it's sort of like tacky and fairly close to dry but not fully dry then you can go ahead and pop it on your nail. It does take a little bit of practice to get the hang of like when to pop it onto your nail um, so don't worry if you sort of screw it up the first couple of times just um, keep trying it does eventually work it just sort of you eventually learn to identify how it should look when you're ready to pop it on and some polishes as well will have a tendency to bleed more than others um, so if you do put it on too early you'll see that the polish just squirts out everywhere and ends up going over the lines so um, in terms of the stamping plate I was a little bit disappointed and the reason is it really struggled to pick up a lot of the images and I don't know whether it was like the combo of the stamper I'm using with the stamping plate um, but I went and used another stamping plate afterwards with the same stamper and same stamping polishes and it picked it up in no no time at all like I think I had one or two fail and that was just because I um, didn't wait long enough in between the cleaning um, so yeah I'm really I'm actually a little bit disappointed by the stamping plate and I'm hoping that uh, when I can get access to some of my other stampers I can try it out again and just see if I can get a better result um, but we'll have to see and have to wait a little bit so um, the whole design or the whole idea of design is that because I was using the Mentos polish I wanted to create something with like the all the uh, sweet pastries that was on this stamping plate I thought it'd be a really fun idea so most of the designs ended up being uh, donuts and uh, the macaroons uh, it still ended up looking really cute even though I did kind of stuff off a few of them and that was more just because I'm out of practice and like this one here that you're about to see um, I let it dry just a little bit too long and so it didn't it sort of lifted up just as I lifted up the stamper um, if that happens just squish it down it's outside the lines and it's no big deal. So there you have it. It's really cute design. I absolutely love this. I actually left it on for two weeks. Um, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next week. Bye.